Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you an amazing leave-in conditioner that you can add to your regimen for healthy hair growth, to retain length, and essentially allow you to reach your hair goals. So if you are interested, you definitely want to keep on watching, and I suggest you watch to the end of the video so you get to see all of the steps and also instructions on how to use it. Now let's hop right into the video. So to begin with, we are going to need some okra. So mine are currently frozen. I usually buy them and freeze them and sometimes use it to cook in the house. To be completely honest guys, I have never tried okra on my hair before but I have seen um, other YouTubers who have tried it and had great amazing things to say about it and that's why I decided that I wanted to try it out and when I tell you I love it honestly I don't know why I haven't tried this in a long time it is definitely amazing for your hair so yeah I will have another video coming up on um, how I use this as a detangler slash kind of like leave-in conditioner again um, So just keep your eyes peeled for that video. So essentially, I'm just cutting the aqua into like smaller pieces I'm going to put it in this little bowl here Now we're going to go next and add some hot water to this and just allow it to do its thing like to infuse or release the gel um, you don't have to leave it for so long so I'll say until the water completely cools down you're ready to go this should have like a nice kind of slippery consistency I'm going to show you guys what I mean in just a little bit So this is the aqua after a few hours. You can see that it has darkened a little bit in colour and also the liquid is definitely slippery and this is such a great, great moisturiser and great detangler for your hair. And like I said, I've tried this and I'm going to share that video with you guys but let's just, you know, Keep this video going so essentially i'm going to go ahead and strain this so i'm using a wig cap for this so just pour the mixture on there and just give it a gentle squeeze so you can get all of the gel out so you don't have to throw away the pop guys because this will be useful for another diy um, so keep your eyes peeled for my next videos because um, I'm going to show you how I use it So essentially this is what the gel of the aqua looks like So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step of the video Now I forgot to mention you don't have to use aqua for today's recipe You can substitute this for aloe vera or flaxseed gel if that's all you have available but just like i said i really wanted to experiment with the aqua and see how that actually feels on the hair and i must say that i was really impressed so i'm using some raw shea butter here so we're going to go in with one tablespoon of that next up we have some mango butter but you can substitute this for cocoa butter if that's all you have available so uh, for this I would say one tablespoon again would be fine I just eyeballed it guys because I didn't know the exact quantities um, but feel free to eyeball it if you want to so next up we have some one of my DIY hike of oil I did share this with you guys in another video but feel free to use olive oil or avocado oil any other oil that you uh, you may have available so next we're going to go in with some emulsifying wax um so for this i will be using about four tablespoons um for the quantity of the um leave-in conditioner that i was trying to make but you can alter these quantities based on your preference so if you want you can use perhaps two tablespoons of emulsifying wax but it just means you don't have to use as much liquid um, so the more emulsifying wax you use the more water or sort of liquid you are going to need so we're going in next here with the um, aqua gel that we made earlier so I'm just pouring in there as much as possible initially um, because I didn't want to overdo it um, but obviously you can adjust the um, texture of your leave-in conditioner as you are working on it which I'm going to show you in just a little bit. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and pop it in a double boiler method and just give it a nice stir until everything is nice and melted. So you want to be there and stir it every now and again 
just to make sure that everything is dissolving and combining uh, co and combining really well. But as you can see here, it's starting to thicken up um, because the emulsifying wax has started to has completely melted at this point, and you know, is we're getting a more kind of hom homogeneous kind of mixture, and that's what we're going for. So keep on stirring um until everything is you know starts to thicken up a bit now at this point if you're not happy with the consistency you can add more water or more um gel just like i'm doing here so i finished off the gel that i had left behind and i also went in with some water because that consistency was a little bit too thick for me and just bear in mind as well this does thicken um, when it sits around or when it completely cools down so um, it's probably better if you're trying to have like a lighter consistency to have a slightly runnier um, kind of consistency as you're working on it on the double boiler method so after I finish that I just pop it directly into a bowl of cold water and just you know until it cooled down essentially but I was stirring in between um, next we're going to go in guys with some essential oils so I'm using rosemary essential oil here I'm also going to go on to use some tea tree essential oil but feel free to use any other thing that you may have available it could be lavender essential oil or even uh, vanilla or any other essential oil that you have available I prefer these ones because they do help with increasing the blood flow to scalp and stimulating high growth so next, I'm going in here with some preservatives. Um, I got this from a company called Nessence. Um, feel free to use any other thing that you may have available. So I added a few drops of those, and I'm just going to stir again to combine. So at this point, just like you notice, I have taken it off the cold water because it had already kind of cooled down. Um, and notice also that we're working with slightly thicker consistency than what we had initially, and that's fine. So that's what I was saying. If you want this to be um, slightly lighter in consistency, maybe just have it slightly run your texture before you take it off the double boiler method because it thickens as it sits around. And look at how creamy that's looking, guys. Like it looks really, really good. So I'm just transferring it into this um, little container in which I'm going to store and also um, use on my hair. Now for this, you can store this in your house in a cool, dry place and it can stay like this for... A really really long time up to even six months now this is great not only for your hair guys but also you can use it on your skin especially if you use things like aloe vera because it's super super amazing for both our hair and skin but also of course super moisturizing so you can also use it on your skin so I'm just you know testing it out here for you guys just to show you how well it melts on the skin and my skin felt really nice and soft and moisturized and that was really good so this is what it looks like here i'm just going to go ahead and use it and basically um tell you how um, often you can use this to help with hair growth and also talk a bit more about how i felt after using this because i felt it was super amazing but anyways my hair is um currently sectioned as always because that's just the easiest way for me to manage my hair so I'll suggest that you wet your hair first before you go on to use this um, just to help with the moisture effect. You can use it directly on dry hair but you might have to use quite a lot of it to get um, a kind of like you know softer kind of texture. So it's better that you just work with water first or any kind of like liquid and then you go on to use this. So I'm just going to apply it throughout my hair including my roots my ends basically everywhere that needs moisturizing i'm not applying it to my scalp per se because i really don't want build up because at this point my scalp is quite clean and i'm not planning to wash my hair anytime soon um so that's why i'm not applying to my scalp but i'm i'm applying it as low to my roots as possible now i'm using a white tooth comb here just to detangle and my hair felt super soft very easy to detangle and yeah i really really loved it and it was quite shiny as well 
So after the tangy, I'm just going to twist and then move on to the next section and repeat. Unfortunately, I'm not going to show you how to do my entire hair in today's video because the video will be extremely long. But I just thought I'll show you guys how to use it. And you can use it once or twice a week depending on your preference and what your hair actually needs. So this brings me to the end of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the watching. Please don't forget to thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I would really appreciate that. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.